today to dedicate our uh, new general store, new old, and uh, it, it has <coughs> come along pretty well so far. It's still a work in progress. Uh, we have a general store uh, person that's going to run it, Mrs. Kaler. And she worked in a general store for years for her father. We also have the previous owner here, Norma, sitting back here, uh, that used to own this building. And this building, when we got it, uh, they were taking the farm down and putting it in a dumpster. Come on. And uh, as we looked at the building, uh, they were like, tell us if you want it or don't because we're going to put it in a dumpster in the next two minutes. Wow. And uh, we decided to take it. We moved it here. Uh, and I am so pleased to see what it looks like now compared to what it did look like when we brought it. It's, it had a big hole in the floor, the back wall was cut out. Uh, there'll be pictures so you can see this later on, but uh, it's quite different than what it is. And it adds a, another element to our working village. Uh, if you don't understand how this village operates, it's probably the only operating historic site in Beaver County. Hmm. We depict some trades, the blacksmith shop, uh, the domestics, the schooling, the agriculture, and we have um, organizations take part in those areas where they're experts. Like the Equipment Association takes care of all the equipment. Well, who better to do that? Uh, we also have some people, like Nick back there, went to Gettysburg College, uh, that's going to do some other walk-through uh, things uh, next year. We're having a new website developed, so you'll be able to go on a website and you'll be able to see these things firsthand every, possibly every day if we're here to, to uh, post that thing, we can post it daily instead of monthly. So that's being worked on and uh, without further ado, I'm going to turn this up over to Pastor O and he's going to formally dedicate our new general store. Well, it's very exciting for you to be here today, and most of you are from this community, and I think that we should show appreciation for the Southside Historical Village. Uh, let's give them all a hand, the board members and people. I, they, they do a wonderful work, uh, probably more than most of us know, uh, around the year. And then they obviously have the fair that, that we have, and I'll obviously use the village during the fair time, as well as in the spring and the fall and other activities that they have. I believe they bring the school children here from Southside School and maybe other school districts as well. Um, when I was looking at this general store just a few moments ago, it kind of brought me back to my growing up years and, and watching uh, Little House on the Prairie. And I, and I was thinking of the people that owned the general store and that little curly head girl and thinking, seeing her run through here. So it just brings us back to history, doesn't it not? And um, I think that's one of the goals of the South Side Historic Village. And I thank Mrs. Ambrose. I mean, this is a, obviously a work in progress and we're certainly thankful for that. And uh, I guess uh, we go into the store and we're going we're gonna to buy things eventually so that you uh, proceed and continue to support. By the way, this is just an announcement. If you don't know about it, in December, there is the music festival that's at the Shipping Port Community Building. And so all come and be a part of the auction. Last year, I got a deal at the auction. It's like going to the, I got a $50 crock pot. And I, I, it was amazing. And uh, we gave it for a wedding gift, so that's great. So we're just so thankful for the opportunity to be here today. We're going to offer a prayer. Betty Barmacher, do you want to say something? Um, whenever uh, Bob told me they was getting this building, I uh, contacted Norma Ambrose. And um, so she told me that the Ambrose had bought the farm in 1920, right? And so this was... This was Grandma Ambrose Wash House, and she did her canning in this building. And there was a fireplace on the back wall, which they have closed in now since we're making it a store. And so she said she did all of her canning out here. And then she had a ringer washer, and she did her washing. And um, <clears throat> so if the electric went off in the house and she couldn't cook, she said she could always go out to her 
wash house and cook on the uh, pot, uh, on the uh, stove, the wood uh, coal stove. So everybody had a coal stove back at that time. And so um, she has a picture, and I've, uh, I have one picture, but I want to take another picture of the painting that she has and because I want to get the back, the bottom corner that says painted by Andrew Poe in 1896, right? Wow. And That's so great. That's great. So I want to get that picture so I can have the date on the picture before I get it put in a frame and brought here. Now, I have to check to see about Andrew Poe because um, September 20th, the um, um, Sons of the American Revolution had a program up at the village, up at the uh, cemetery, and they was honoring Thomas Moore, which was a chaplain in the, in the Revolutionary War. And so he's buried in that real old Mill Creek Cemetery. Hmm. So I always have my son taking me to all these old cemeteries. And I hadn't been down there for a long time. So we did go down, and the Andrew Poe said he's buried in 1823. So I've got to check to see about the Andrew Poe's. But uh, this picture that I'm going to get from her, uh, it shows a painting of the whole farm, and this building is real plain on that picture. So you know this building was built before 1896. So I That's guess. wonderful, Betty. <laughs> the great historian <laughs> and the treasurer. She takes all your money. Isn't that great, <laughs> Betty? That's wonderful. I tell you what, folks. Um, there are a lot of people that work behind the scenes on the Southside Historic Village. And uh, this is a great, as Bob said, a great working village. And there is great history. Um, I think if we don't learn from our history, uh, we won't be able to help our children and our young people to go forward in their future, uh, to know. I, it was interesting as I was coming on to the village uh, just about a half hour ago or less, uh, there was a grandmother and her grandchild there, and she was telling them about the outdoor uh, uh, porta potties or outdoor uh, commodes. <laughs> uh, and that was a reality uh, in those days. And so, uh, you know, it's great to, to celebrate that history. Well, I'm going to pray, unless somebody else has something else to say, uh, and dedicate this as we've dedicated many of the buildings here, uh, and just continue to dedicate this. It's good to see this good crowd out. I would encourage you, though. Um, just when you see these festivals and you hear about them, and, and Bob said about the internet, I mean, that's the way to communicate today. So get out there on that master website and find out what's going on and get the word out and tell people that these events are happening. And usually at these events, there's some good music and that's what warms my soul. So I like the music. So let's, uh, let's pray. Lord, we could not have asked for a better day. What a great day of harvest. Uh, and to think, Lord, that when the harvest uh, was taken care of and then all the canning was done and all the produce was made and then to bring it to a store like we are depicting here. Uh, to think of the use of this place back through our history in this community and that it was used uh, for a family and for their particular needs. And now to remind us of what life was back in those days. Father, I pray that every activity that's done on these grounds uh, will be for your glory as we do remember our history. And remember that the God who was with us yesterday is the God that is with us today. And that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that your mercies extend from generation to generation. And we pray, Lord, that we, just as we pass on the truths of your holy word, and we do that many times in our churches, in our individual homes, and in faith and family, that we will pass on the story. And Lord, I love when Betty and Bob get up here and they, they share the story. And we thank you for the story that has been given to us. And we dedicate this story to you, and we dedicate this general store to you, and we pray that you will continue to be with all the leaders of this village and the future that it will hold, 
And Lord, may it be the best place to go in Beaver County. And Lord, that, that people from far and wide will come to this place uh, to see the great history that is here. And Father, we again thank you that this began uh, just about 20 years ago with the vision of a schoolhouse. And uh, now we see that this village has really uh, taken some form and shape. And we thank you for that. And so we pray that we'll enjoy the rest of this time together. We ask, Lord, that you will uh, use this place uh, to be a reminder for many who come through these doors and come through this place. We pray for the operator and the people that are going to operate it. We ask this in Jesus' name. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Amen.